morning, Brian Cairns, Fox Hills Learning Center, Plymouth, Michigan. Uh, today we're just going to talk a little bit about the soul of the club and the usefulness of the soul of the club. Uh, most golfers are always trying to use the leading edge and we're always taught to lean the club through the ball. Uh, we've kind of developed through a little investigation at Fox Hills how to start using the sole of the club or the back end grind. That's the bounce of the club there, the sole. Okay, and some clubs, as you would see in markings on the club, have sole angles or bounce angles. Bounce angle is a differentiation between the sole of the club and the shaft angle. So once we have that established, which I believe more is better, we can always lose bounce, it's very difficult to gain bounce. So once we have what bounce is on every club and sole angle, same thing, now we can start to establish how we want to use it on the golf course. On the golf course, typically all golfers were taught to play the ball back and lean the club, decreasing all bounce angles and creating a dig angle. Once a dig angle happens, we have now incurred Mother Earth, or Mother Earth has gotten in the way. So, as you know, AKA a Snedeker would lead with his leading edge, kind of punch the ball or pop the ball, the back of the ball. It's a 50-50 chance that you catch the ball first, most average golfers. So what we've developed at Fox Hills through investigation, uh, a little Paul Runyon study, um, is to use the toe of the club, which increases the sole bounce, so to speak, it twists the club open. It does not necessarily create more ball flight. The only thing that creates ball flight is changing the loft of the club. So opening the club face increases bounce, increases sole, so we can start hitting the back of the sole on the ground. Once we have established that, how to use the sole with a straight up and down shaft angle and the toe a little bit more down, as you can see the toe is, the toe is resting more on the ground and the heel is up, we've started to use more bounce on the club. Now by doing that, we have taken the sweet spot of the club more out towards the toe of the club, giving us more of a dead hit, little less spin, so on and so forth. But what we've really tried to establish at that point is no lean. Toe down, no lean, and now we can go ahead and place the ball middle of the stance, which is middle with a slight opening of the stance, and then we can go ahead and chip the ball. The way to start this in your practice routines is to lean the club, is let the club go forward of your hands, and then take a club back and brush the ground <coughs> slightly. That would give you the feeling of letting the club head go by your hands and feeling the toe of the club scuffing the ground. Now remember, we want to hit the ground first on this shot, not second. Remember, this is like having half of the keel of the club in the water, not the whole keel. This part of the keel would grab the ground and stick the club and close it. This part of the keel is the only thing that should touch the ground. So if we go to that part of the keel, scuff the ground, Place the ball somewhat in the middle. Very little ground interruption. And now we have the club gliding through the ball and through the ground. And at worst, you're gaining more loft because the club would hit the ground and the club head would go, the toe would stick slightly and the rudder of the club or the keel would glide right underneath the ball. Any more questions, call us at Fox Hills for your help.